Hi, uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do the installation for for one twenty twenty for my telemetry tool. This is based on the version ten point three, but this applies to all the versions ten and most likely for the future releases as well. I don't think there will be much changes. This is more about settings. Do the settings in Formula One twenty twenty. Uh, uh, nothing in my tool hasn't changed lately, so uh, let's go forward. So. I don't know if you have watched the videos I did earlier on the basic installation and the advanced installation. So we have an installation of the telemetry tool where I have all the directories, everything. So you could also do a shortcut in your desktop for the Formula 1 2020 shortcut. And then you can just start the telemetry tool from there for the first time. And when you start it for the first time, of course, you don't have much there yet. Uh, but here you can see in the middle that, okay, it's the it's a starting in the right format and then the port information this is the way you so you started the first time on the 2020 mode and when you're connecting it to the uh the telemetry tool to that formula 1 2020 or the other way as well uh you need to set up little things in the formula 1 2020 but something you could do especially if you are running uh uh, your 2020 in another machine or on a Fox or PS4 or so on a console so you need to need know the IP address where you are running the telemetry tool and for that there is a set tools and show my IP address so this opens a dialog it takes a few seconds and it opens up and there you can see the most likely IP address if you have only one uh, network card in your system so the most likely there will be only one IP address or number here so this is the IP address that you would need to then put in the telemetry tool but if you're running on a Mac or, Li or Linux then there might be other IP addresses or if you have multiple network cards then there might be other IP addresses here and it might be that you have to try each of these and see which one of them these really is the right one to, for you to use in with your uh, with your system over on your home network other things when you're doing the 2020 installation you could also you could also uh, go to the settings and there are some things that you might want to adjust one is the control button which will change the tab so there is this is based on the uh, information from the from the game but you could just add assign one of the buttons in your control controller or in your steering wheel that it will change uh, the, the uh, tabs or the what is shown on, on the telemetry tool and that's quite handy if you're driving and you don't want to be going with the mouse and trying to change the tabs at the toll this way and then you can also adjust here which of the tabs will be visible so that's quite handy uh, I think for my it's for my uh, own wheel I think it's a uh, triangle is the one which actually I'm using always and then you could also add, uh, enable the uh, en enable saving of the opponent laps here or laps or just the coast in the time trial also maybe if you are doing lots of racing you might save the lap times for the race and the race history in dif different files I don't know if you need that information but it might be handy if you are doing more detailed analysis. Then you can also adjust other things. And also maybe that's something new in the 10.3 is that you can also set which kind of, which uh, blue lap will be used on a different mode, which is quite handy. Like for example, like with the hot lap, you want to have the fastest lap, but then it might be at the practice, you want to have the fastest of the session or even in the TT you might want to have just a ghost lap and that's what my tool also does when you have a ghost you let full, let the ghost drive at least two laps and mostly and you will have the ghost trace here so you can a little bit look at the ghost how where you're losing the the other drivers and and where you are gaining on them and that's quite handy but this is for the for basic setup this is something where you might just look at what you're doing on the network side there's no need to do anything basic settings here are, are, are sufficient you might be enabled to HDD server if you are looking into that there's a information on that but what we need to be look at the IP address and here I am leaving it open so we can just look at that and I actually had already uh, from 1 to 20 open so what you need to go you go here to the options go into the op options then you go into the settings and here on the settings you can see there's the telemetry settings so you go in the telemetry settings this you can do whatever you like with these if you are using the Fanatec uh, the stuff you can leave them on whatever you do but here you have to enable telemetry settings so most likely this is on off uh, 
status when, that, when you have a vanilla installation. You don't need to use broadcast casting mode unless you have all, we are also using other tools which are listing the same IP address. And then what we can do here, if you're running the telemetry tool on the same machine where you have Formula 1 2020, then you can leave it as, as like this. But if you're using uh, Formula 1 2020 on a console, console, then you have to find the right IP address here. And then now you can see the list of IP addresses. So what I will actually do, I'm changing the IP address here. So 192. So this will be most likely something else on your own home network. The numbers might be different. It might be, but, but, but you will find out then from the tool. So then you put this IP address there. And then you can leave the port same because that's the port that be what's the default. If you need to use something else, you can use something else. Uh, the send rate I'm using 60 Hz, but you can use your oh, use any level you want. There's the UDP format. I would use the 2020 format, even though. But if you use other formats, then you have to change the format in in, in the telemetry tool. And then it's up to you to decide if you make your pub, uh, telemetry data public or not. I keep it public and it would be nice if other people could also have it public, but of course that gives you, uh, gives other people a little bit uh, uh, benefit if you are racing like in legal racing and other people see how much you have, few, how much fuel you have and everything, but it's up to you to decide. So key thing is you enable the telemetry, you change the IP address if you're running uh, Formula 1 2020 on a console and then the U port is most likely what you can leave as, as it is and then the other things. So now we have done that, and then we go back, and then we just uh, let's take a time trial, and let's take any car, let's take this one, and then uh, when the game starts, or this session starts, let you can see the little I'm changing here to the map, and it just takes a little, a little bit when you start going in here. It starts, you can still, still monitor, and now you can see already this in my game, it changed, or in the telemetry tool, it changed the map, and you can see that I'm online. You could also, another way to see if everything works, this is key thing, if it changes the map, then you know, and also it changes here at the pull down, it changes the track to the right track here, uh, and then we could also, there's a raw data which just shows all the raw data, let's say I'm just going back here, so you see how it works. So you get the raw data. That's the easiest way to see if something is happening because there's always things moving on, on this data. Or you could just put on the like the uh, driving mode and then we just, let's say, just let's go out. Oh, okay. Twenty twenty as well uh, from here and and that's the way. It's quite simple. You need to do some maybe some settings, change here if you like them. But basically, getting the connection done is quite simple. Uh, only thing is that if you are running uh, the telemetry tool on a Windows system and you have Windows firewall, there might be that the firewall is blocking the connections from uh, PS4. So you might want to also check the, if there's no data coming in. You might check the firewall settings. That some uh, people have said that they had had to uh, enable uh, the, the port and stuff like that to make sure that the data goes through. But that's the way uh, you do the installation and make sure that you get data from Formula 1 2020. And, and if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed it. So enjoy and get faster. Thanks. Bye.